is um, taken from, is arrested and taken to a juvenile jail, and then they're processed and then returned to their parents and given a court date to get, go to youth court, which is a private or secret process in which they try to rehabilitate the individual back into society and hopefully not allow them to continue to commit crimes. Um, at what point then can prosecutors decide or what's the criteria to decide if a juvenile will be charged as an adult in a case? Typically it depends on the severity of the crimes. There are certain crimes like murder and other severe crimes which automatically you can be charged as an adult. However, other crimes you can certify a, a minor into cert adult court by having a hearing in court to determine whether or not there's a possibility that, that child can be rehabilitated. If they can prove that beyond prob a probable probability that they can't be rehabilitated, then that person can be certified to, to be an adult. But typically, in most cases, they first go through the juvenile justice system before they are then taken through uh, typical circuit court proceedings. Well, typically, a person that's certified for a crime less than something like murder typically has been to youth court before and then they keep coming back and then that youth court will say where well, there's nothing we can do to rehabilitate this individual and they'll attempt to certify him as an adult to have him move to the adult court. All right, Jeff Hosford, thanks so much. Quentin Smith will have more on this story with uh, District Attorney Forrest Allgood coming up at 6. If you have a question that you'd like Jeff to answer, a legal matter, you can send a, a question to us at LegalLine at WCBI.com. We'll see you next week. Thanks.